what's up girl so if this 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 is what you have please i need to tell you now that it is not sunburn this patch on your face your neck is darker than the rest of your body my face and my neck is darker than the rest of my body it is not sunburn in today's video i'm going to help you to understand what causes something like this and i've included a 10-step treatment process and a full routine that will take your skin from this and this to this so, all right guys so our agenda for today is divided into two parts part one we are going to examine the causes of face and neck darkening part two we are going to examine the 10 step treatment process and let me just tell you now please make sure that you check the description box for all the list of the products that i will be mentioning and of course as you know this is going to be showing live to you as a live premiere so that means you get to drop your questions while you're watching this video and i'll be in the comment section attending to it so yeah now that i'm done with all of that let's jump into the business of today all right so first of all we need to examine what the causes of face and neck darkening are and then we are going to talk about the treatment process now as a rule of thumb and as a foundation that i want you to solidly build the knowledge of this uh, uh tutorial on first of all you need to know that a simple darkening of the face and the neck is not just tied to sun exposure everything is not sunburn oh uh, my face is darker my neck is darker is sunburn give me a remedy for sunburn you go to your organic skin video and they tell you oh take this remedy it will clear all your sunburn it is not all tied to someone so number one cause of face and neck darkening is one pregnancy melasma that means you have a visible change in complexion and tone as soon as you maybe entered your second trimester or your third trimester that darkening that face of darkening on your face and your neck is called pregnancy melasma now if after you have given birth you don't take care of it it can stay there for as long as you permit it to stay and that is why you're watching this video the second cause is of course sun exposure now i'm talking sun exposure for somebody that is not into skincare you've never tried any kind of organic cream before you just really always expose your skin to the sun and you don't use a very universal spf sunscreen that is a universal sunscreen that covers both uva and uvb rays that shields your skin from the sun so that you don't start recording things like oh my skin and my face my neck is darker than the rest of my body all of that in essence you don't start recording things like uneven skin tone so yes sun exposure is the second one now the third one is sun exposure on bleached or whitened skin the second is normal plain sun exposure. You are not bleaching your skin. You are not doing anything. It can get you to have a face and a neck that is darker. The third reason is um, sun exposure on bleached and whitened skin. That means you are using a product, an organic skincare kit or something that has high concentrations of hydroquinone without prescription, without caution, or without providing a very moisturizing cushion for something as active as that to latch onto your skin. Now, most people just buy this organic skin set. They use it on their face, on their body, because the body is usually covered with clothing, the neck now and the face. As you're watching this video, my face and my neck is exposed. So if I just go into the sun and I'm using hydroquinone, the part of the skin that gets the damage first will be this face and this neck, all right? So that is the third reason. Other reasons include birthmarks from birth. Now, I have, on this side of my face there's a spot here and i remember the first time my husband met me he was trying to pick something on my face he thought ah there was something on my face to pick and i told him i've always had this birthmark from right when i could identify my face in the mirror and i told him that this is just a mark on my face so also that can also be for you so certain parts of our skin will have like patches of marks on our face that just came up with us as we were giving birth to it is absolutely normal there is nothing you can do to remove that the fourth or should i say the fifth cause is what post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation from maybe your cystic acne has healed up your normal acne your pimple has healed up you have a few fungal acne rashes on your face and it has healed up it can turn into hyperpigmentation if you don't take care of it the, the last cause is what hormone system disease and, and that means a disease that has to deal with fluctuations in your hormonal levels so let me give you guys an example i say if you have early onset of diabetes 
diabetes can show on your skin as your neck becoming darker than the rest of your body you get so those are simple simple things that you need to pay attention to not everything is just straight off the bat it is someone no the reason why i am teaching you and i'm telling you these courses is so you can think okay yes three years ago i used hydroquinion could it be that that is what is causing my own face and my neck darkening or two years ago i got a diagnosis from a doctor and they told me oh in another two years i'll have to be taking insulin injections because uh, uh, the person has diabetes or three years ago i had my last baby and since then my complexion has not been the same you need to figure out the category that you are in because that would determine that would determine the level of progress that you're going to see with the treatments that i'll be giving you now level of progress means oh should i wait and start seeing changes between 30 days 60 days three months four months or even six months if your own is tied to your hormone you cannot just fix that in 30 days you have to give it time and that leads me to the next thing that i want to talk about which is with the treatments that i'll be giving you guys today please make sure you give your skin time to readily absorb it to receive it and to heal as slow and as steady as possible now step one is what we've done before and i will say now that we are in the treatment process let's talk about all the steps that are involved step one you need to identify what is causing your darkening and we've covered that in the courses so take a time out now maybe 30 minutes to one minute figure it out which one is exactly causing your darkening step two if your own is within your control or you don't need external factor like a doctor or somebody to prescribe something to you because of the causes i mentioned earlier please try to control it and by when i say that i mean if you're on any product that has intense lightning that tells you this thing is going to lighten up your skin whiten up your skin you need to discontinue because you are not going to get results when you are trying to use a lightning product and you are trying to fix the effect of the lightning product you see that logic is not really logic in it's not making a lot of sense you get so discontinue any kind of whitening or lightening product that will predispose your skin to further sun exposure uh that would further lead to worse results and worse effects that you are recording now the third step in this treatment process would be to start using a very gentle cleanser since you have some burn, i don't want to hear you say you are using dodo sun I don't want you to hear you say you're using your body soap on your face no you're going to get a designated cleanser for your face that you'll be using in the morning and night and we have to make sure that it is gentle the reason why we are using a gentle cleanser is because the fact that your face and your neck or you have something that looks like this on your face it shows that your skin is slightly irritated and we have to produce and create a conducive atmosphere for all the other products and the steps in this treatment process to sit on and the foundation of all that is good cleansing that leaves your skin hydrated and what well cleaned so that means we are discontinuing the dodo ozone we are removing the bar soaps that we don't know where they are from or somebody said you should buy it none of that we are going to buy face cleansers that are gentle and i'm talking the simple micellar one the CeraVe hydrating one or the Bioma hydrating jelly cleanser with a lot of ceramides. So choose between any of these three right here, depending on what your pocket can afford and start using it. I don't want to hear, oh, toner is optional. Since if you have this issue, you need to use a toner in your skincare routine. And by soothing toner, I'm talking about a toner that has green tea extract inside it. I'm talking about the eccentric green tea toner this one or the number zinc green tea toner with 89 percent herbal extract you're going to use either of the two depending on what your money can afford all right and the reason why we are using a soothing toner again is because after you've cleansed toning is just supposed to create a conducive atmosphere for other actives because you're going to be using actives in this treatment process for other actives to sit on without causing further irritation we are now going to add essence to your treatment process i don't want to hear i don't use essence because i don't need it since now you need it i know for a very long time i've seen my mom use all these um topical products that they don't really have a lot of branding surrounding it you don't have a lot of research materials to read up when it comes to this product and when she complained that her face was significantly darker i told her you know what we have to switch up your cleanser to something gentle and we also have to put you on hydrating skincare products and trust me her skin has really really improved really really and drastically so this is where your cosrex snail mousse essence or plain simple aloe vera gel that looks like this and the reason why you are using aloe vera gel and cosrex snail mousse essence 
is because it is packed with antioxidants and soothing properties that conditions your skin. Like every morning when you use it, that redness is going to calm down, the darkening will calm down, and other products and other actives will sit nicely on top. And another reason why we are using the essence is because essences are known to promote skin healing especially the ones with snail mucin, the one with aloe vera gel, and the one with other herbal and um, plant extracts. All these extracts really work on the skin to promote healing. What is happening to your skin is that your skin is irritated and you need to let your melanocytes know they don't need to go into an overdrive by producing a lot of melanin to try to protect your skin. You can tell them with all these skincare products that I'm telling you now to get that it is okay. Your skin is safe, your skin is healthy, you can take care of your skin and it does not need to go into what? An overdrive. And that is why you're getting all these products that I've mentioned uh, in the past. Now, the next treatment process is to start using a brightening active. And I said brightening, I didn't say lightening. And that's because all the uh, samples and all the alternatives that I'll be giving you under brightening actives and brightening products are things that are well formulated and dermatology tested to promote what skin brightening especially if you notice that your face and your neck is significantly darker than the rest of your body topical faded that retails for twenty three thousand contains a lot of brightening actives including azelaic acid and tranexamic acid is very very good like the reviews on tiktok are this much a lot a lot since all you can get the touch bright and clear two cream this particular cream here also enriched with azelaic acid kojic acid and tranexamic acid that will help to significantly brighten up your skin right here and then lastly you can just go for something with glutathione you can go to um all these stores that say glutathione cup creams now this is it caution 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 when you're using anything with glutathione i need you to use it properly and i need you to follow these steps that i've highlighted don't just go to the store ask them to give you a glutathione cream for your face because your face and your neck is darker and you don't have essence and you don't have toner and you don't have a good cleanser you are gonna regret it i'm just telling you now so next you're going to get a very rich antioxidant day serum i am itemizing it like this it will also be in the description box because some people still come into the comment section and i'm hearing oh do you mean if i use this i don't know about what you're using currently if it does not look like this treatment process i cannot vouch for it i don't know i'm sorry this is what i know that has worked for my mom that has worked for the few clients that i worked with in the past and that also worked for me when i had pih that's hyperpigmentation now you're going to get a very rich antioxidant day serum that day serum is either a niacinamide one or a vitamin c one you cannot heal your skin without antioxidants and the reason why we are choosing niacinamide or vitamin c is because niacinamide is a gentle skin brightener it is not as brightening as the one i mentioned before that's the touch the topicals or the glutathione one it is not as active as those ones the niacinamide or the vitamin c options that you are going to be getting is suitable for day use and you need antioxidants to promote your sunscreen to work faster and to work more effectively vitamin c and niacinamide is an antioxidant that will allow your sunscreen to give you a lot of protection especially if you know your work requires that you have to go and run errands when the sun is up and you notice that oh i am trying to fix this face and neck that is darker than the rest of my body this is where your day serum and i call it day serum because you can use your vitamin c during the day and you can also use your niacinamide serum during the day this is my own opinion last but not the least or should i say second to the last will be a very rich hydrating moisturizer and i've given you guys a lot of options plenty elf peptide holy peptide is a good one the simple much daily renewing moisturizer is a good one i also know about the cerave daily moisturizer very very good if your spf is not 50 plus and you are trying to fix darkening it's not gonna work listen to me it's not gonna work what will work is for you to get and save up your money to buy a very effective sunscreen that you know you enjoy using and that you would enjoy reapplying if you have my face is darker than my body you don't have sun stick you don't have a very good sunscreen or you don't reapply sunscreen at all it is not going to go 
all this other treatment process lies solely on you protecting your skin from a lot of sun exposure that means for the treatment process to work maybe for a duration of three to six months i would save using makeup for only special occasions like maybe on sunday and that is what i've been doing recently i don't really use makeup like i used to you guys are seeing my bfs right now all right so personal advice i would say please save the makeup for special occasions so that you can readily reapply your sunscreen and be able to fix the darker face and the darker neck all right now last but not the least and i know i've said that about a couple of times now is to give your skin time and i will also be describing how you're going to fit all of all these things into a routine so um for your routine to work this is what your daytime routine will look like you're going to cleanse you will use the toner and then the essence then you will use the day serum your moisturizer and then lastly your sunscreen that is your daytime routine again screenshot this part of the video because it is going to be listed here so that you can always skip it and not forget now for your daytime that is for your daytime now for your night time you're going to have a gentle cleanse you would what use your toner and then you will use your essence then you will use your what your brightening active products that's either the topicals the faded the uh uh the touch one use any of those ones use that and then you will now moisturize after and i mean moisturize lavishly because this brightening active that product that i mentioned earlier is very very intense right so that is what your treatment process is going to look like now personal opinion i would say give this treatment process at least 90 days that's three months start taking pictures every two two weeks so you can measure progress from uh this was week one week two week three week four so you can check some of you just use products you follow a routine you don't take progress pictures and you wonder why it is not working how would you know if it is working if you don't have progress pictures to compare and contrast with i'm just telling you all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you found it extremely helpful thank you so much for watching of course i'm going to attend to all the questions that you have down in the comment section don't forget to also check the description box please give me a huge thumbs up if you end up enjoying this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like and turn on post notifications for any time i post thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye